Throughout Earth's vast history, our planet has witnessed some truly cataclysmic events that have reshaped the very fabric of life itself. We're talking about mass extinction events. Those catastrophic periods where countless species were wiped off the face of the Earth, never to be seen again. According to scientists, we might be living through the next big one. That's right. The sixth mass extinction event is potentially already underway. And it's not pulling any punches. So what could possibly be driving this latest existential threat to life on our planet? Here's the rundown on why scientists are warning that the sixth mass extinction event is already happening. The severity of the crisis. We are facing a crisis unlike anything our planet has experienced before. Scientists are warning that we have entered the sixth mass extinction event in Earth's history, and this one is unfolding at an unprecedented pace. Unlike previous mass extinctions caused by natural phenomena like asteroid impacts or volcanic eruptions, the current extinction crisis is driven by human activity. According to a startling study by researchers at Stanford University, the rate of extinction today is estimated to be up to 100 times faster than what is considered typical in the fossil record. This means that species are disappearing from the face of the Earth at an alarmingly rapid rate, potentially leading to a collapse of entire ecosystems. Tony Barnosky, one of the lead authors of the study, paints a chilling picture of what a mass extinction looks like. It means you look out your window, and three-quarters of what you think ought to be, there is no longer there. That's what mass extinction looks like. His colleague, Liz Hadley, echoes this sentiment, emphasizing the gravity of the situation. It's a horrific state of the planet when common species, the ubiquitous species that we're familiar with, are declining. The evidence is all around us. Iconic species like the grizzly bear, once a symbol of California's wildlife, are now gone from the state. Salmon populations in the Salish Sea, which once supported a thriving fishing industry and a way of life for Native American tribes, have plummeted to the brink of extinction. But this crisis extends far beyond just a few charismatic species. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the abundance of global wildlife has collapsed by a staggering 69% in just the past 50 years. In Latin America, the region hardest hit, the decline is a devastating 94%. The driving forces. So what is causing this catastrophic loss of biodiversity? The primary drivers are human activities that are fundamentally altering and destroying the planet's habitats. Unsustainable land use practices, such as deforestation and conversion of land for agriculture, have decimated vast swaths of natural habitats. According to the World Wildlife Fund, roughly 40% of all land on our little blue spinning ball has been converted for food production, and agriculture accounts for 90% of global deforestation. This destruction of habitats is compounded by the equally devastating effects of climate change, rising temperatures, more frequent and intense droughts, wildfires, and other extreme weather events are making once hospitable environments increasingly inhospitable for countless species. As biologist Paul Ehrlich, author of the seminal work The Population Bomb, bluntly puts it, too many people, too much consumption, and growth mania. Ehrlich's words ring true when we consider that human population growth and our insatiable demand for resources are the root causes driving both habitat destruction and climate change. A catastrophic trajectory. If we continue on our current trajectory, the consequences will be nothing short of catastrophic. Scientists warn that we are rapidly approaching a tipping point beyond which the effects of mass extinction will be irreversible. In a blood-chilling study recently published in the journal Biogeosciences, climate scientist Kunio Kaiho of Tohoku University in Japan modeled the potential severity of the current extinction event. His findings are nothing short of alarming. According to Kaiho's worst-case scenario, the Earth could experience a temperature increase of around 16 degrees Fahrenheit within just a few hundred years. 
This rate of change is unprecedented in Earth's history, leaving species with far less time to adapt and evolve than during previous mass extinction events. The consequences of such rapid and extreme climate change would be utterly devastating. Entire ecosystems would no doubt collapse, and countless species would be wiped out, potentially leading to a cascading effect that could ultimately threaten the survival of our own species. As Gerardo Ceballos, a leading scientist on extinction from the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico, warns, what we will have to do is to really understand that climate change and species extinction is a threat to humanity. The ripple effects. The loss of biodiversity is not exclusively an environmental issue. It has far-reaching consequences that affect every aspect of human civilization. Species don't exist in isolation. They are interconnected and play vital roles in maintaining the delicate balance of ecosystems that provide us with essential services. From pollinating our crops, to maintaining clean air and water, to regulating our climate, the services provided by healthy, biodiverse ecosystems are invaluable and irreplaceable. As these ecosystems break down due to species loss, the consequences will ripple through our food systems, our economies, and ultimately, our ability to sustain human life on this planet. The effects are already being felt with disruptions to agriculture, water supplies, and other critical resources that we depend upon. As biologist Liz Hadley describes it, if you've spent any time in California, you know the loss of water. The loss of water means that there are dead salmon you see in the river right before your eyes. It means that our habitats that we're used to, the forests that 3000-year-old forests are going to be gone. So it means silence. And it means some very catastrophic events because it's happening so quickly. The ripple effects extend far beyond the loss of individual species or ecosystems. It is an existential threat to our very way of life, our culture, and our traditions. Many communities and indigenous peoples have depended on the bounty of nature for centuries, and as that bounty disappears, so too does their heritage and way of life. The consequences are not just ecological, but social, cultural, and economic as well. A call to action. The gravity of the situation is undeniable, but it is not too late to avert the worst-case scenario. Scientists like Gerardo Ceballos are leading the charge proving that conservation efforts can work when properly funded and implemented. In the Calakmul Biosphere Reserve in Mexico, Ceballos has successfully increased jaguar populations by paying family farmers to protect the forest instead of clearing it for agriculture. This model, while small in scale, demonstrates the potential for larger conservation efforts to reverse the tide of extinction. However, as Ceballos himself acknowledges, these isolated successes are like grains of sand on a beach compared to the magnitude of the problem we face. Truly addressing the crisis will require a global, coordinated effort on an unprecedented scale that involves a fundamental shift in how we as a species interact with the natural world. We must move away from the mindset of endless consumption and growth and towards one of sustainable coexistence and respect for the intricate web of life that sustains us. This paradigm shift necessitates urgent action across multiple fronts, with governments and world leaders taking bold steps to curb carbon emissions, protect and restore habitats, and prioritize biodiversity conservation through comprehensive policies and legislation. Simultaneously, businesses must embrace sustainable practices and invest in solutions that minimize their environmental footprint, reimagining their operations and supply chains with a focus on sustainability. Individuals, too, must play a crucial role by making conscious choices in their daily lives, supporting conservation efforts, reducing their consumption of resources, and embracing more sustainable lifestyles that align with this new mindset of coexistence and respect for the natural world. As daunting as the challenge may seem, the alternative, a world stripped of its biodiversity, a world where silence reigns and ecosystems collapse, is simply unacceptable.
We have a moral imperative to act, not just for the sake of the countless species at risk, but for the sake of our own survival as a species. In the words of Paul Ehrlich, the serious warning in our paper needs to be heeded because civilization depends on the plants, animals, and microorganisms of Earth that supply it with essential ecosystem services from crop pollination and protection to supplying food from the sea and maintaining a livable climate. The time to act is now, before it is too late. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the dire warnings from scientists about the sixth mass extinction event? Do you think enough is being done to address this crisis? Or do you believe more urgent action is needed? And perhaps most importantly, what steps are you willing to take in your own life to help protect biodiversity and prevent further loss of species? Let us know, know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.